Hello, Clayton Balmas here. I'm your teacher with our video classroom here at Synmax University at SynmaxPerformanceLubricants.com. Today, we're going to go over the water coolant performance presentation. This is my most favorite and special out of all of them because it took some very important people pulling together resources to be able to make this work. Today, what we had is a presentation. We took an engine just like this that was used in a Daytona prototype, which was a, a, like a Chevy LS engine. And then we used water coolant direct within it, all right, the water cooler treatment. And we did a test. It was a 10-hour durability test over Daytona. And it was a private test. And what it, this test really focused on was heat transfer within the cylinder head and how it could be able to actually allow it to, the, the head to be more consistent under hot conditions they would, you know, run into like during the summer. So they were able to run these tests. They did a, a durability test with two cars that had um, very same setups, equal setups. One vehicle had the uh, Cinmax water cooler. The other vehicle had the uh, comp competitive product, which was normally used in sports cars, called Redline Water Wetter. Now, no against, but that's, that's what they had in the car. So if I could be able to show this, and you can download load this yourself, every time a, the car would go by, the telemetries would click off. Now, what we have to remember is that the sensor for the, for the temperature was in the center of the cylinder head, okay? So it was pulling the heat off the head. It wasn't measuring the radiator, wasn't measuring any other part of the engine, the cylinder head, all right? So what happened here is as the sessions got hotter and they started working harder, all right, it would, it would start to go up. they go out for like 10 laps and come in. And what you would see in this illustration is that the heat transfer capabilities, because in Synmax, they made a decision to have a heat transfer chemistry inside of it. A lot of the coolant system treatments do not have a heat transfer chemistry inside of it. It's got to be clean. It's got to be able to do a lot of things. But this was the result. The cylinder head pulled off the heat. And we're going to say, well, that means it's running hotter. No, it means it's pulling the heat off. So it's pulling the heat off the components anywhere from 3 to 5 degrees. Say, so Clayton, where's that heat going to go? Well, we had another test done very similar to this with a private organization which uh, worked with us. And uh, they didn't use this radiator, but this here is for illustration purposes only. This is kind of our cadaver, uh, which, which we used here, but it, it'll get the job done, okay? So what they did is a durability test, all right? They actually used uh, antifreeze against the water cooler, and they did a 10-time durability test at 120 degrees, all right? And uh, the results was as follows. We have what's called a delta T difference. Now, what happens with a radiator is that you have, let's say, the inlet, the inlet and the outlet, or whatever. Let's say that the, that's the inlet and that's the outlet for sake of argument, all right? Then as the air passes through, it actually cools it. The delta T difference is the difference between the hot to the cold and how much did it cool it. Delta T means the, the number difference, okay? So what happened was this. If you could be able to see the graph, you see how it goes up here? That means 40 degrees difference, okay? And then the one below, which goes up to like 15 degrees, that was 15 degrees, that was with regular antifreeze. You say, Clayton, well, where did the red line move in at? Well, we, it was tested against that. The data came in at about 10 degrees lower than what the, ours did because the Synmax has the heat transfer chemistry with it. You can also see in this bigger illustration, 35 to 40 degrees, an average of 30 degrees difference. That means when the air passes through, 35 to 40 degrees difference. Now, what happened was that, in general, 
I got to go back. In general, what happened between the combination of everything, we had the cylinder head operating cooler. Well, excuse me, operating hotter. It was pulling off three to five degrees off the cylinder head, and it was taking the fluid to the radiator, cooling it in the radiator, and then bringing it back so it was actually doing its job. Okay? It was taking the heat from the engine, bringing it to the radiator, cooling it through the fins of the radiator, and then sending it back, getting some more heat. Come, that's called heat transfer and convection. Now, we're going to get a little more detailed into that in the next presentation. But the key here is this, keeping the heads functioning and the radiator functioning. You say, Clayton, well, how clean did it get? Well, we had a third test done. We had another organization use the cylinder sleeves from a competition racing engine, and we used it against a product called Conklin. I haven't heard of Conklin. Well, it's used in the Indy Racing League series and, and other series, and it, it's been around for a long time, okay? So what happened was is they took a piece of Teflon tape and they put it on the metal. And they did a 72-hour test, okay? And at, at the end of the dunking of the 72-hour test, this is what it looked like with the Conklin. Where it was soaked in the water, it had a white like coating of scumminess on it, okay? As you would see in the illustration, if you download this, the Synmax had no rust, had no coating, had nothing. The Conklin did. So the conclusion of what we're, we're here to say is this. When you use a product that is designed to protect steel and aluminum and transfer heat and do its job properly, have a delta T difference to transfer the heat through when the air goes through the radiator for the radiator actually to do its job, for the cylinder head for the heat to be pulled off it because of the chemistry advantage. I think that's a good thing, and that's what we're doing here to teach you here at Synmax University. So I want to thank you for our time together. And uh, this is Clayton Balmas with Synmax University at performancelubricants.com. And I want to thank you, and we'll see you at our next session. Bye now.